Hey, hi there, Aquarius. Welcome to your weekly Psychic Tarot card prediction for September 2020. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. This is a general reading. Aquarius, I'd like to thank you for supporting my channel. It keeps me able to provide you with these readings for free. Thank you. And there is a free birth chart calculator link on the very bottom of the description box below, and it can help you out with these kind of readings. And now for your first card. It's the general atmosphere, the background and the basis of the matter. This is something that's already flowing into the past. The Knight of Cups, Aquarius, water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Water could be in your chart or in someone else's that you're dealing with. I'm trying to find a good stand that will make it so it's not glary. There we go. This is someone that's bringing in an offer of love, a message. They're dreamy and emotional and they chase a dream. They could be making advances and propositions. This is someone that's full of conflicts, emotional conflicts. They're full of idealism. They're a spiritual seeker, an artist, a flirt. They're very impulsive, and they follow their heart in their dreams. They love art and beauty, and they're always looking for ways to bring more into their life. This is a soul connection. Yet they can be emotionally unstable, quickly fluctuating from feeling high to low. And they can be very loving and passionate. But their feelings can change quickly. This is a dreamer who might not think through the long-term effects of their actions. This is heightened emotions, can represent spiritual aspirations, a quest for truth. It's sincere emotions, it's following your heart, making amends, and offering forgiveness. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences, and here you are, Aquarius, in your energy here. Number 17 of the Major Arcana, the star, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Could also be in the chart of someone else you're dealing with as well. This is a great love. It's a great hope. It's wishes. It's the peace and the confidence that comes after the explosion of the tower. It's renewal and faith renewed. This person has hope in a calm and relaxed but eager frame of mind. Their calm confidence carries them through all situations. This is mental stability, nurturing a dream, your lucky stars being with you in this venture, so make the most of the now. These are heavenly influences surrounding you, and blessings are flowing freely like water. This card carries bright promises. It's a good time to begin a new project or a relationship, as it carries blessings with it. It's being at the right place at the right time. It's major growth and development. It's positive energies flowing freely into your life and being ready to receive them. It's making the most of the now, because now anything is possible, because destiny is working for you. It's replenishment, well-being, and devotion. It's being hopeful and peaceful and cooperative, charitable, devoted. It's the end of travails. A new and happier phase of life is coming. A gate is opened now to you for new possibilities. The Knight of Cups with a Star card is a love offer full of hopes and faith. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of, Aquarius. This is uh, the Six of Cups, Water Energy, Scorpio Energies. This is a card of nurturing, happy memories coming from the past, echoes coming from the past. It's looking back. It can be an emotional conversation that's connected to your past that will shed light on your future. It's an unmistakable bond, a karmic attraction. You could have been soulmates, had a past life together. It's an emotional bond that survives death. It's things done from the heart. Surprise gifts. 
being sweet and charming and kind, tender, sentimental, childlike, protective or shielded, pampered. These can be acts of kindness, offering or accepting gifts or compliments, and fondly reminiscing or giving the benefit of the doubt. It's being playful and spontaneous. The Knight of Cups with the Six of Cups is romantic possibilities coming from past connections. It's visiting a place from the past. Your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The Six of Wands, Aquarius. Fire energy. Now this is Jupiter in Leo. Jupiter brings in our luck, our, ep our evolution, our expansion. This is victory, accolades, receiving pats on the back. Others are looking to you for guidance. So be sure that you use ethical behavior. The most powerful way to teach is by modeling the behavior and attitudes of yourself. So take time to celebrate your triumphs. But remember, you still have not reached your final destination. Success now depends on good teamwork and paying due respects. These are working on projects that bring recognition. It's being very fortunate, popular, coming out on top. It's triumphing over adversity and having met all the challenges. It's overcoming the opposition and any past doubt. The Knight of Cups with the Six of Wands is a confident performer. It's movement away from a love connection, and victory comes when you follow your heart. Your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen. It's because it's something that you're not talking about. Yet you are consciously aware of this. Number four of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The Emperor. This can be in Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Could be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. This is a card of control. This is the Divine Masculine card. It stands for the domination of the material world. Authority, paternity, the regulation of life by law. This can represent a man who is proud and rather intimidating. They may be hard to please because they have the highest standards. They are very confident. You may have heard him say, been there, done that. They demand respect. This is controlled and directed drive or attention. It's exercising power wisely with structure and control, authority, laws, and rules, which can become repressive. This is someone powerful. They rule, and maybe you feel like you're under their influence. It's love through healthy boundaries, power, protection, and realization. This is a beneficent ruler. They will fight for what is right and what is their duty to protect, like a father figure, giving fatherly advice. They're a solid leader, a natural-born leader, and they have the right to rule. So look for issues related to authority. This is a protective male force especially of the home and of domestic harmony. Sometimes this card appears when someone is struggling to achieve independence, become their own person. The Knight of Cups with the Emperor is a domineering person and your life gets closer. It's an emotional upsurge with someone controlling. The star with the Six of Cups is trying to focus on good memories, hoping to reconnect. Star with the Six of Wands is public recognition may put you in the spotlight. It can be success in media. It's hope and victory putting struggles behind you. The Star with the Emperor card is a victory with a material reward. It's a well-established place to live or work. The Six of Cups with the Six of Wands is leaving the past behind you. It can be a past connection, gives you confidence. Two sixes in a reading represent irritability. The Six of Cups with the Emperor is a man who likes his women to be overtly feminine. This can be some misunderstandings within a personal relationship that needs to be discussed and resolved. The Six of Wands with the Emperor is news, new levels of mastery. You can expect praise or promotion 
maybe even a senior position. The Vice Versa Tarot card from the deck by Lunia Weatherstone, number 21 of the Major Arcana, the world. This is Earth energy, it can be a Capricorn. The world. That side. The golden rings link the laurel wreath with a serpent biting its tail, symbolizing a circle without beginning or end. Apparently immobile, but an eternal movement, this re represents the power that devours and regenerates itself. Universal energy that is consumed and renewed continually. This is the cylindrical nature of things, which recommences from the beginning once it has reached its end. The soul that dances through the Eurobos is united with the infinite, the perfection of eternity. When you get this side in a reading, if you're not feeling a sense of completion, it may be because you're thinking in terms of continuum rather than a cycle. It's true that everything is linked, but it's important to mark milestones. Eternal renewal relies on the acknowledgement of what has been achieved or accepted, celebrated, and released. Don't court exhaustion of mind, body, or spirit by hurrying onward. Everything is happening just as it is meant to. Thanks, you guys, Aquarius. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. I hope you can feel it. Thanks for watching.